हेलो स्टूडेंट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ द पॉलिटिकल साइंस चैप्टर फर्स्ट व्हाट डेमोक्रेसी एंड वाई डेमोक्रेसी वी डिस्कस्ड व्हाट डेमोक्रेसी एंड द फर्स्ट फीचर ऑफ द डेमोक्रेसी दैट इज अ मेजर डिसीजन इज टेकन बाय द इलेक्टेड लीडर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द सेकेंड फीचर ऑफ द डेमोक्रेसी दैट इज अ फ्री एंड फेयर इलेक्ट्रल कॉम्पिटिशन होल्डिंग इलेक्शन ऑफ एनी काइंड इज नॉट सफिशेंट the election must offer a real choice between political alternatives and it should be possible for people to use this choice to remove the existing rulers and this can be better understood by the way elections are held in china and the mexico in the case of china the election do not offer the people any serious choice they have to choose a ruling party and the candidates approved by it in china elections are regularly held after every 5 years for electing the country's parliament that is called the kyungyu renim gyebudoi means a national people's congress and the national people's congress has a power to appoint a president of the country it has about 3000 members elected from all over china means these 3000 members elected a president of the country and some members are also elected by the army and before contesting election a candidate needs approval from the chinese communist party means only those who are members of the chinese communist party or eight smaller parties allied to it are allowed to contest elections the government is always formed by the chinese communist party and in the case of the mexico people seem to have choice but in practice this was not true there was no way the ruling party could be defeated even if the people were against it means there are not fair elections since its independence in 1930 Mexico hold election after every 6 year to elect its president. The country has never been under military or dictator rules, but until 2000 every election was won by the PRI, Institutional Revolutionary Party. Opposition parties contest the election but never manage to win. The PRI used many dirty tricks to win elections. All those who were employed in government office had to attend party meeting. teachers of the government schools used to force parents to vote for pri media largely ignored the activities of opposition party and criticized them polling booths were shifted from one place to another in the last minute and making it difficult for the people to cast their vote the pri also spent a large sum of money in the campaign for its candidate so in the case of the china and mexico it is clear there is no free and fair elections in both country the china and the mexico but in democracy it must be based on a free and fair election where those currently in power have a fair chance of losing in the next video we will discuss the next feature of the democracy